Uh, Zach, you must be absolutely delighted with uh, your start at MK Dons, both personally and from a team perspective, unbeaten. You've got a goal. It's it's all gone pretty well, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It couldn't have gone better, really. Um, yeah, as you said, scored. Um, we're unbeaten as it stands since I've arrived. So, yeah, it's been a good start to, to my time at MK. Um, you certainly impressed MK Don supporters and maybe some of us in the media with your performances so far and uh, you seem to have slotted into your role despite it not being a role that you're necessarily used to. You seem to have slotted into it very quickly. Yeah, it's um, it's different to what I'm used to. Um, I'm a centre-half by trade but I can also play left-back. Uh, left wing-back is a little bit more of a, of a demanding role. Um, it's a lot harder on your legs and whatnot, but it's one that I'm enjoying. Um, yeah, so so yeah, we keep a lot of the ball, uh, which helps. Um, so yeah, now I'm enjoying it. Um, you're quite a tall lad. Uh, you're quite a big lad, and but you're very good on the ball. You've got very good feet, and you, you, obviously in that position, you need to obviously move the ball forward quite a lot and. Um, you know, left back maybe uh, you, you can you can afford just to release the ball a little bit quicker. But have you always been able to play the ball uh, as well as you as well as you can? Um, yeah, I've always considered myself um, a ball playing defender, centre half. Um, so yeah, playing in playing in those kind of positions where um, a lot more is is demanded of me with with the football. Um, it's fine with me, to be honest with you. And um, playing in a team where you've got uh, all of your teammates wanting the ball helps. Yeah, and there are a lot of players who want the ball in that side, aren't there? And uh, you, how how have how have you been welcomed? Have you do you feel like it's been very easy to acclimatise to play at MK Dons in amongst all those players? Um, yeah, it has. It has to be fair. All of the boys here they've been they've been really welcoming. Um, it was a quick turn. Uh, it was a quick turnover. Um, because I came in and uh, got thrown straight in. So it was a case of getting to know the players on the pitch. Um, I think I've played with them on the pitch more than I've trained with them, to be honest with you. But um, no, it's been good. It's been really good. Everyone's been, been first class with me. So yeah, it's helped me settle in a little bit, a little bit easier. Talk to me about Dean Lewington, because as you well know, um, uh, he his appearances are freakish in many respects. You know, the amount of times he's played uh, for MK Dons, 800 or I don't know. I've, I've done so many, um, so many milestones for Louis. I don't know, but obviously you're 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 playing quite close w with Dean, and and maybe in the future you could be somebody that takes Dean Dean's place. There's been a lot of pretenders through the years. I mean, how's it been working with Dean? No, it's been good. We had a conversation the other day actually about how many games he's he's played and whatnot, and um, I was telling him how impressed I was by it. Um, yeah, no, he's a really good guy, a uh, really good pro. Um, he's got a lot of experience, and so yeah, he's someone that I can talk to and and uh, kind of feed off. Um, you can't tell his age by the way he plays. He's still, he's still, he's still putting in brilliant performances. Um, and yeah, it's good to have that that experience behind me. Um, you know, we have a good relationship on the pitch and and off the pitch as it stands. So, so yeah, it's been really good playing with him. If he tells you he's in his 20s, he's lying. Um, <laughs> plain and simple. Um, he's tried that before, no doubt. Um, so look, it, it's still early days. And uh, I, I know it's, it's, it's very easy when, you've, when you've, you're unbeaten in four, I think one defeat in seven or eight, something like that, um, in the league. Um, and some of the performances, I think, have been outstanding. Hull, I would, I would earmark as the, the one that really impressed me because it was up against a side who were, uh, you know, a very good side and an organised side. And I think in some respects, you know, the, the, the team performance was the best. But obviously people are starting to talk about the side moving up the table and looking towards the playoffs. Now, your manager won't have any of it. He's, the, he's not talking about that at all. He won't even entertain that conversation. Is there any conversation between you, the players, that you know we can achieve this, we can make the playoffs? Not at all. For us, um, as a collective, is about progress. Um, it's about moving forward with the way that the manager wants us to play. Um, so yeah, we take it game by game. Um, every day on the training pitch is about us, how we can improve. Um, we know how fickle the football league can be. 
League One, League Two. Anyone can beat anyone at any time. You can see you see freakish results all of the time. Um, people would have said that Northampton, for example, would have been would have been a, a walk in the park for us. It was far from. Um, so yeah, we just take it take it one game at a time and and see where we end up at the end of the season. That's great. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate it. That left wing back position certainly sees you in the penalty box a lot more than than probably you would if you were playing at centre half. Though I mean, it must be nice to uh, be afforded those chances to get a few goals to your name. Yeah, it, it is fun in that sense. It is fun. It's not as fun when the when the when the ball gets turned over and I've got to run all the way back. But <laughs> but no, yeah, it is. It is really fun. It's it's different. Um, I would say my first game Sunderland at home. Um, I was yeah. Being being in positions such as the the eighteen yard box, waiting for the ball to to get put in the back stick, was a bit was a bit um, alien. Um, I'll call it. But now I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. Working with Luke and and the gaffer. Um, yeah, it's it's just a case of 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 them putting the demands on me, and um, me improving game by game, improving in training and. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can I can I can kick on in that position. Well, we saw a couple of chances fall your way at Rochdale. Obviously, you you got you got one goal, and then one goal was chalked off because I think it, it came off Cameron Jerome's face. Yeah. But you know, finishing you know, not really something that a centre back does. But you certainly don't finish like a centre back. <laughs> yeah, it's um, yeah, I wouldn't say I practice it much, um, but yeah, no, nah, it, it's good, it's good. Um, uh, going into games with the mentality of a chance could come my way and just being prepared to to take them um it's it's a different kind of approach to to when you when you're starting a game playing center half um you're more gambling on getting an opportunity from a set piece or something so yeah it's different but but I'm enjoying it for sure